Oh, so I, I just gave a keynote, which I call the uh, Architects of the Lost Years. Uh, and by the way, there, there's many renditions of it on YouTube, so if you want to see the whole thing, you can find it. Uh, several dozen copies, I'm sure. The, the gist of the talk is this. Um, the architecture of a system should be based around its use cases. The use cases should be the first things visible, the intent of the application. And those use cases should be divorced from the UI, whether it's the web or something else, from the database, no matter what kind of database that is. You would like the UI and the database and other external things, and note I call them external things, to plug in to the business rules. And, and although there are many, many very good reasons for this, one of the more important reasons is that it allows independence of testing. You can test your business rules without the GUI in place, without the database in place, without the frameworks in place, without the web running, without any of the systems running, without the application server going. You can test your business rules and you can test them fast because there's nothing in there that's going to slow them down. No web sockets, no disks, no databases, no nothing. If you architect it this way, you then give yourself the option of deferring those decisions. You don't need to decide on the UI just yet. You may want to, but you don't have to. You may, you may, you can defer the decision of what database to choose. You can defer the decision of which particular web framework to use. All of those decisions can be set aside until you have the most possible knowledge to make them. Whereas the way most people do this is they make those decisions when they have the least knowledge to make them. Anyway, that was the kind of gist of the